My name is Dr. Michael Glogauer, Head of Dentistry for University Health Network, Head of Dental Oncology for Princess Margaret Cancer Center, a professor at the University of Toronto, and a clinician investigator for UHN. Fundamentally, I've always been very interested in the links between oral health and systemic health. The evidence is becoming very clear that oral health does have a very significant impact on systemic health, and one of the most obvious places is in the cancer realm. One of the important modalities of therapy for head and neck cancer patients is radiation. But as a result, there are some impacts on normal physiologic oral health, uh, including xerostomia, the development of dry mouth due to uh, an impact on the salivary glands. There can be loss of certain tissues which uh, have to be removed surgically as a result of the cancer therapy. And, and these all have an impact on the health of the patients after they have survived their cancer. So what happens at this hospital is that all the head and neck cancer patients uh, are screened for dentistry very, very early on so that we have an opportunity to eliminate any dental disease, educate the patients and making sure that they're ready to proceed with their radiation. And we also see the patients halfway through their radiation therapy and then up to a year after so we ensure that they have optimal oral health, are able to look after their mouths to prevent the risk of sequelae later on. We found that um, oral neutrophils entry into the mouth can actually be used as an excellent biomarker for determining the oral health status of the gums in the mouth and we've been able to show uh, that it can be used as an excellent biomarker for monitoring oral health during radiation therapy when oral health may be shifting uh, towards a pathogenic process. One of the things I love about a career in science is that it's all about making a difference and making discoveries that are previously maybe underappreciated. So I'm very, very excited now about optimizing how we manage our head and neck cancer patients to minimize the risk of disease. And I think uh, with my collaborator, Aaron Watson, we're going to make a significant difference in how we manage head and neck cancer patients.